be making this guy. This is our Fairmount zipper top tote in olive green. Um, so I've already gotten started a little bit, basically did all the prep work. Um, so you can see I've cut out all of my pieces um, and I did do some um, edge painting that kind of needs to be done before I start putting the bag together. But other than that, we're ready to go. I'm going to start off by uh, assembling the zipper and we'll go from there. All right, guys, so I'm just going to quick explain how I assemble a zipper. Um, not everyone does it this way, but this is just what I do. So I essentially have, let's see, these pieces here. So I have my zipper. Um, it actually does have an ending to it, but I'm uh, eventually going to cut that off and put a leather end on there. Um, I've got these two little pieces that are going to be the front stoppers to the zipper. I've got this longer piece where you can see I've used my bone folder to mark off a line. And then I've got these longer pieces here that are pretty thin. So my first step is to glue this thin strip on top of the slightly wider strip and follow that line all the way down. Okay, so I've got those glued up and clipped. And so now I am just gonna sew down that line. So we have these two pieces facing each other. Got that done. So now I'm gonna just glue on this little front stopper. So it's at the very front of the zipper. It's gonna get glued on and I'm gonna glue um, one side of the zipper in place and then the other. So the little tabs are glued in place and one side is off. So I'm gonna stick the zipper right in there and fold this over and glue that down as a stopper. So I'll show you how I do that. Um, and first, I always make sure the zipper is open. The stopper is gonna stop this from coming off, which is great. So I'm just butting the little end of the zipper up to my stopper. up that's the back and ready to be sewn here's the front so you can see where that stops and you can see my zipper again is longer than it needs to be but I am gonna eventually cut this off and add leather to the back uh, to the back of the zipper so it doesn't really matter um, yeah we'll do the other side and we'll get to sewing I sewed these up so is these inner lines right here. And you can see we're really starting to look like a full-on zipper. Just about done. So all I have to do now is I'm gonna cut this. I'm gonna melt the edges again with a lighter so nothing is gonna fray. Um, and then I'm just gonna add this on top right here to, to end it. And then we'll be done with our zipper. that our zipper is done, I'm going to sew off the rest of the bag. So um, I've got my two big panels here. Um, you can see that I've already like cut out the holes for my handles. I've also, um, I've marked out where my pocket is gonna go. So you can see those two corners right there. That's where I'm gonna line my pockets up. I've also got my pocket stamped some little holes for the uh, rivets, and I've got my stitch line also marked out. So I'm just gonna glue my pockets on one onto the front. I've got one that's going on the inside of the bag um, that's marked out with chalk on there. I'm gonna stitch those in and we'll move it along. I've got my pockets sewn in. And I added the two small rivets on this one. 
So now I'm just gonna start to sew these two pieces together. So this is my back panel and you can see I marked right here, which is where the two pieces are gonna overlap. I'm just gonna glue these together and I'm gonna sew two lines down here. sewn together you can see the double stitch line going down so now comes the tricky part you have to sew it in a loop the first thing to know is the only reason I'm able to do this um, with a cylinder arm machine is because my bag is longer than it is tall so wider I guess than it is tall um, if it were taller than it was wide I would never be able to get this into the cylinder machine now, ideally, I would have a post bed machine um, to stitch this up and hopefully one day we will get there and get one. But without a post bed machine, I can sew this bag and I'll show you how. Now comes the hard part. So I've got it all glued up and we've got to sew this barrel. So you'll see, but basically, because again, I'm working with a cylinder arm and not a post bed, I have to start to turn this almost inside out. <laughs> and you'll see how difficult it is. <laughs> mark the second stitch and do exactly what I just did one more time. You've got it all sewn together. The really hard part is over. <laughs> so now I can breathe. So now what I'm going to do is fold over um, to put the back bottom on. I guess it's kind of like a gusset. So you can see that when it was flat pieces, I used my bone, trusty bone folder and marked this line on here. Um, and I'm just going to fold this over you'll see it's going to fall right into that line um, so that we can start to glue the bottom on okay you can see that fold it over really nicely and it followed that mark that i had made in the leather with my bone folder got that all folded up so now i'm going to start to um glue this on so this is my bottom piece you can see that i've marked two white marks on either end. And what these are representing is this, um, where the two pieces come together right here. So all I have to do is line those marks up with the overlapping leather. And now that should be pretty centered. So I can start to use the rest of my clips to go all the way around. Um, I usually like to clip it first, then take half my clips off, glue, clip it, and do the same to the other side. I do that just to be sure that everything is lined up perfectly before I actually start laying glue down. So let's do it.
All right, so now we just got to put that zipper in. The zipper is all sewn up. Um, I just made a couple marks inside the bag so I know where to start it. And for this, I usually will clip it in place first and then go back and glue it so that way it's exactly where you want it to go. All right, so we're just going to sew the zipper in, and once that's done, we're done with the bag.